Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Face Jazz. As always, welcome back here on the Face Jasper channel, the channel that has been so inactive. I actually think my dead relatives are more alive than this channel. But luckily, I don't have any dead relatives, so that means this channel is well alive and doing well. Today, we're going to be reacting to Cypher's nine month transformation, how I lost 75 pounds video. I have not seen this. We talked a little bit in the DMs, you know, I slid in, but I have nothing to do with this whole transformation. He uploaded the video, it's 11 minutes long. I'm excited to see it. It, and maybe I can provide some commentary on it and the, the same thing what like we did with uh, with Tfue, Tim and Tap Man and Courage. Let's just jump into the video. Leave a like on the video though. Please leave a like. I'm sweating. This is not good. Mr. Cypher PK. Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher. This is what I look like God. months ago. Jesus. It's actually crazy. And this is how I look like now. And uh, don't worry, I'll show you a side-by-side -side later. But today, I'm going to take you guys through the last nine months. How I went from looking like that to looking like this. We're going to go through everything from... Dude, his arm here is mad. Like that to looking like this. Well, dude, look at that arm. Like, he, that's some veiny tricep popping. Jesus Christ. We're going to go through everything from what I eat to how I work out and also the mentality behind approaching a transformation like this. Okay, so growing up, I played a lot of basketball and played a lot of video games. So I was- RuneScape, I like it. Rip, but I was definitely active. All of that really changed once I started streaming, especially when Fortnite came out. Like that was the grind time. That was the time to really take it seriously. I was streaming like 12 to 15 hours a day, every day for like the first six months of Fortnite. And as you guys know, like it obviously paid off. We blew up on YouTube, blew up on Twitch, but my health really came second it actually came last to be honest with you i ended up putting on a lot of weight dude uh that's what a lot of people struggle with right prioritizing workouts and like thinking about health for, for some people who are watching this video as well it's not very relatable to be like hey i'm grinding 12 to 15 hours a day on, on streaming so i can't work out uh but for some it's, it's going to be work or it's going to be school stuff that you get very busy with and and the health prioritizing it goes lower and lower in a way you will always have time to work out like if, even if it's like 30 minutes to 45 minutes maybe an hour uh is a workout it's better than doing nothing so i feel like he's gonna say something about having a better balance now uh where he streams a lot and he has time to work out because he plans his workouts i felt unathletic even when i went to go play basketball with my brothers at 6'4", I couldn't dunk anymore, and I, I've been able to dunk since I was 14. November of 2020, after like three years of Fortnite and streaming, I weighed myself, and I weighed 265 pounds. Oof. I've ever weighed. But he's tall, though. He's a tall guy. I mean, he can dunk, so it's not like he's not tall. So, and 265 is, is heavy, but... It depends on what frame. <laughs> but I ended up putting out a tweet and I said, hey guys, I'm gonna go 100 days eating healthy. I remember this tweet. Out almost every single day. And I'm gonna track this and I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I want you guys to hold me accountable. And that tweet is where it all started. So I've tried to lose weight in the past and I've completely failed. But this time I had a plan. I was gonna eat healthy, count my calories, work out consistently, eat food that I actually still enjoyed and not starve myself. I'm gonna go into detail about all that stuff. At the start, I wasn't really counting calories. I really just wanted to be active every day. So I would go on 20, 30 minute walks. I would ride a bike, just do something every day. Listen, the rules are always the same. Calories in, calories out. If you, the activity, your activity level has to do something with that. Um, up your activity, it's so easy. 30 minutes of walking or running or cycling or rope jumping or having fucking intercourse with your female every day for 30 minutes. Things matter, like it, it makes a difference. Like more, burning more calories will allow you to eat more calories. But if you want to lose weight, eat the same thing and burn more, you will most likely have more activity, so you lose more. Or at least stay the same. But it's something, it's a small step, it's super easy to implement. Whether it was something small or big. And then I pretty much started just trying to make conscious decisions about what I was eating, cutting out sodas, cutting out really unhealthy food and snacks. I didn't want to just go head into it extreme like I did in the past. The reason why I failed a lot in the past is because I would deprive myself of any good food. I would work out like two hours a day and eat barely anything. 
and eventually you'll feel shit a little bit of weight but then i would burn out and just quit and then go back to eating everything again so what started off as just like two to three times a week eventually it turned into five or six times even i need you to be a little bit more uh bent over here scythe turned into five pulling with the elbows not the wrists a little bit more forward but six times even though it started off slow as the weight started falling off i wanted to take it more seriously i started doing research watching different youtubers like greg Doucette and even some fitness tiktok influencers that were showing up 10 to 10 man love that my for you page it can be very confusing and daunting and i didn't want that i wanted it to be simple i wanted it to be something that i could personally do and i made a little notepad where i was tracking my weight loss from week to week and like you can just see look at this so let's see this is uh this is months and um days in europe it's reversed 260 and then 25 days later tw it's 248 246 243 34 like it's very steady it's it's fast though it's it's fast like three months he's four months in and he lost 50 pounds that's fast the numbers going down and this kind of kept me motivated being able to add a new like high score i guess it's a low score but you get what i'm saying was keeping me motivated discipline is more important because you can be motivated for a few weeks or a month but discipline is how you're going to be able to make this change last your entire life okay so let's talk about diet and basically what i'm eating it's honestly very very simple okay if you eat less calories than your body needs to maintain you will lose fat, you will lose weight. If you eat more, you will gain weight. But you also wanna make sure that you're getting Simple. You know, the protein so that you can actually keep your muscles and build muscles so you can actually look good. Because you don't wanna just get skinny, you also wanna look good and be strong. So that's why I always have the pancakes. They fill me up, they have protein. As somebody who's literally never cooked, this is the easiest thing to do. <laughs> I love that, you just make it pancakes, dude. This is the life though, this is the life. He, he lost so much weight, he looks so much better. And that he's eating pancakes for breakfast. If you tell a average person, be like, hey, listen, um, I'm losing weight. I lost like about 50 pounds and I ate pancakes all morning. And they're gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean pancakes? I need some kale and some apples. Otherwise I can't lose weight. Mm -hmm. Scale here so I can actually measuring is knowing, dude. Like measuring is knowing. Knowing how much you eat and how much you consume. That's knowing how to lose it. Scale out how much mix I'm using, but this is like 106 grams. It ends up being 380 calories. And then I add one scoop of protein powder. You can use water if you want to, but almond I milk. Almond milk. I just do one cup of milk. Everybody does almond milk, dude. It's hilarious. You have to be extremely accurate when you're measuring stuff. Now's the easy part. I'm gonna turn this on so it can start heating up. And I just be a little accurate. I would say in the beginning, especially be a little accurate because that's when you really start to know. Uh, because if you're like kind of whatever on everything, it adds 10 calories. Maybe it adds at the end of the day 100 calories, and that could be the difference between losing or maintaining. So I would say be accurate at the beginning at least until you get like a, an idea and a grasp of how things are going. I get what he's saying, but I would be a little bit more. Um, well, it depends on what ingredients. That's true. You want to be more accurate with the peanut butter than with uh, almond milk, probably. Now we add this, and I usually make four pancakes with this. It's definitely a little watery, but it'll cook. So basically, I try to get some protein with every meal, and these pancakes are filled with protein. The way you got to go about it is you got to actually like the food you're eating. If you hate the food you're eating, you're going to end up failing and 100%. Not really sticking to whatever diet you end up picking. So you might be wondering if I ever have cheat days. I absolutely do have cheat meals, not necessarily entire days where I just eat whatever. You can get away. Pasta is not a cheat meal for me. <laughs> Having one cheat meal per week and you can still be on track. You might feel a little bit heavier the next day, but most of that is actually just water weight, which you will lose over the next few days really, really quickly. Okay, time to see if these will flip. There we go. How clean? Done. I get four really big pancakes and this is- The metal scraping on that thing bothers me, but whatever. Uh, just about 500 grams and about 50 grams of protein. And I use sugar-free syrup and sometimes fat-free whipped cream to make it taste better. Again, another fucking amazing thing. Sugar-free stuff and like low-fat 
awesomeness. Yeah, I'm a big snacker. I like hot Cheetos. I like Takis. Something I didn't want to compromise on was getting rid of snacks. So my pantry is pretty much filled with snacks and stuff. So first, gum is great because it's like no calories. Protein chips like Quest is awesome. And also popcorn is low in calorie and somewhat filling. Mm -mm. Oh man, he's making all the right decisions. That's why it worked. Ice cakes are kind of in the same category, low in calorie, and they help me like stay within my goal of being in a calorie deficit, which is literally the only way you can lose weight, but you don't want to be in too big of a deficit because then you burn out. Okay, so I wanted to know how many calories I needed to eat. I basically looked up a calorie calculator. So I put my age, which is 25, and then my height. Fuck, I'm 26. I'm older than this guy. Shit. Six feet four. 265. When it says like activity level, I ended up putting just one to three times per week. I wanted to keep it like realistic, especially right when I started. I set this up and then I hit calculate. And basically it says that to maintain my weight, I had to eat 3,147 calories. But if I wanted to lose two pounds per week, which is what I was going for, I needed to eat about 20. That's crazy fast, bro. That's a thousand calorie deficit. I, if I would have coached Cypher, I would have gone even slower, to be honest with you. Like I, I would have gone 26, like 25, because t t too low is like, like that's, 21 is low. And especially at the beginning, it, it, it's a big difference. I get, if you're able to do it, you're, that's great. But I always try to start slow because it's just less of a massive change. Like. 50 calories. So that's what we started with. I was eating about 2,200, 2,300 calories per day. Okay. I was losing about two pounds per week. But let's talk a little bit about vitamins. Okay. Men's multivitamin, fish oil. I see some whey protein, vitamin C. I guess a pre workout, maybe a BCA? You take vitamins, multivitamins, fish oil, which is good for you, vitamin C, and it's just pretty basic stuff, just over the counter things, nothing crazy. I do take creatine. Oh, creatine, yeah, it makes sense. Recovery and muscle growth, and has always take creatine. Studied tremendously. I take five grams of creatine, monohydrate, nothing extra added in this. Good. So sometimes when I'm low on energy, I'll have a pre workout before my workout. And of course, I was eating close to 200 grams of protein per day, and protein powder helped with that. So it's kind of crazy that I even have to say this, but I have seen certain comments on my social media, Instagram and whatnot, accusing me of taking different things. My physique is Steroids. not that impressive. I just lost a lot of weight. So just want to put it out there. I am completely natural. No extra stuff, just some vitamins. Some I mean, look, the difference between the photo I, I paused earlier and the arms here, like fitness and like fit pictures and stuff they're all super lightning you have a pump you have the the right pose the right angle it's it's a massive difference like even i get like the unnatural comments sometimes i'm like dude i weigh 155 pounds i'm not that big creatine and some protein powder and good healthy i'm just super ripped you know what i'm saying fuck I do have a home gym that I sometimes stream from. Sometimes I do go to- That's the sick, gym. by the way. I'm here with my brother, Omar. What up, guys? Omar has also lost like over 75 pounds. Sheesh. Kind of been keeping each other motivated. Nice. He's my workout partner. I think it's important to have a workout partner that can keep you motivated and help you out with your workouts. We try to hit each muscle group twice a week and give ourselves at least one or two rest days to recover. It's really important. Recovery is just as important as the workouts. But the most important thing, of course, is the diet. That's like 80% of it. So we do back and biceps chest and triceps, legs and shoulders, rest day, and then we repeat. Okay, so it's kind of push-pull legs, um, but a little bit different. So it's a push day, and then a, a pull day, and then a lower push day. Let's see how much he does. Bench press, incline bench press, close hip, dumbbell incline bench press, incline cable fly, decline cable fly. He's doing a lot of volume. A lot of volume. Shit. This is like... That's 20 sets of chest. Christ almighty. That's a lot. That's, he doesn't need that much. Um, 20 sets is a lot of volume if it's like top sets. You don't need that much, to be honest. But hey, it's, the thing is, like you could go super deep on everything and you can go like, oh, this is more beneficial, whatever. But the, 
end of the day, he lost 70, like he lost a lot of weight. End of the day, he lost a lot of weight and it worked. And it might not be the best workout or the most effective one, but in the end, it worked. And that's the most important thing. But I think he, do he doesn't need that much volume um, at all, actually. But especially because he's doing it twice a week. So that's 40 sets of chest a week. That's way too much. Do back and biceps, chest and triceps, legs and shoulders, rest day. And then we repeat that process and we sprinkle in some cardio. I don't do that much cardio, even though I lost a lot of weight, maybe 30 minutes a few times a week. So when we first started- I mean, that's solid. That's not nothing. <laughs> we were only working out like one to two times per week. The important thing is that you're pushing your body. Our workout started off being like 30 minutes. Now we go for about an hour to an hour and a half. Right when you start, you're gonna be very, very sore, especially if you didn't really lift much before. But your body starts getting used to it, and if you get proper sleep, drink enough water, and rest, you'll be able to work out five or six times a week if your schedule allows it. All right, so when you first start, you might not know how much weight, how many sets, how many reps, and I personally didn't either. I kind of looked up different workout plans that people have posted. There's a lot of useful information online, on YouTube, on Reddit. So obviously I have like a lot of equipment at home, the tonal, some weights, some dumbbells. You might think that you get started. I didn't have any of this when I first started. I was just doing very simple body weight stuff. And if you don't have the equipment, you can start with that until either you get some equipment or you sign up for the gym. And I do still go to a gym just so that I can be out and about and kind of have some different machines to work with. If anything, just a few dumbbells, some resistance bands and some body weight exercises can get you started until you find equipment or join a gym. All right guys, so as you know, I played a lot of basketball growing up. It's a big passion of mine. Pretty much when I was growing up, basketball and gaming was my two top things that I love to do. But once I started streaming and I gained all the weight that I did, I couldn't dunk anymore. And I thought I was never gonna be able to- Oh, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the climax where he dunks. After the weight loss, I'm gonna throw it down a few times for you guys. She. He's 6'4 though, that's so unfair. Like, I want to dunk, but I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, on a good day. <laughs> story of how I lost over 75 pounds in the last time. I hope this motivates some of you out there, gives some useful information. Dude, Cypher, I know you're probably not watching this, but dude, super proud, super great transformation. You did all the right things. You ate what you wanted to eat, but you were in a caloric deficit. You had the right supplements, you had the right workout. You worked hard, obviously. Great stuff, man. It's all great. You lost a lot of weight. Now it's time to gain some muscle mass and look a little bit more buff. That's the I would. That's what I would do if I were you. But hey, that's all up to you. Um, again, thank you so much for watching this video. I um, appreciate it. And um, my mic is falling down. Relax. Stay there. I'm gonna fuck it. Stay there. Soon on my website, there will be launching some workout plans, some online coaching, relaunching, and and also an ebook. I have an ebook. I wrote an ebook, Fit Fit Face Jasper, the ultimate beginner's guide to health and fitness. Yes, that will be coming out very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. I need to do some more content. Let me know if I should react to any other transformation videos or any other things, because I feel like the content is lagging and a reaction videos like this are kind of easy to make, to be honest. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Deuces.